Powerhouse, presented by Alliant Energy. Alliant Energy, we're on for you. It's one of the most important elements in any home, the windows. Whether you're selecting windows for a new house or replacing windows in an older house, it's a critical decision, especially when you consider energy use. Join us today is Terry Daly with Ogden and Adams. And Terry, what should we be looking for when we're selecting windows? Okay, generally the, the casement window the, is a, the tightest window. Uh, it cranks out, seals up against a weather strip, much like a car door does. Uh, the harder the wind blows, the tighter the window gets because it pushes it against the, the uh, compression weather strip. Uh, a little less, uh, a little looser window would be the double hung window because it slides up and down. In order to operate, it has to be a little bit loose. And of course, a slider window, side to side slider, would be much the same concept as a uh, double hung window. Now, when we talk about the, the, the framing materials, Terry, uh, fiberglass, vinyl, wood, is one better than the other? Not necessarily one is better than the other. It depends on the use that you're going to have. For instance, this window is a, a wood interior and a fiberglass exterior. Uh, if you have an older home, you may want to have the wood to the interior uh, because you have natural wood, uh, woodwork inside the house and you, you want to have the wood. There's also vinyl that is available. Vinyl window is going to be vinyl on the inside and vinyl on the outside. Uh, as uh, this corner sample will show that everything to the window is vinyl. So it, it isn't a matter of one is better than the other. They each have their own application. Terry, what should a consumer really look for in terms of finding an energy efficient window? What am I looking for? Well, there's a lot of components to the window that, that contribute to the energy efficiency. Obviously the insulated glass, the two panes of glass, the frame material, and the weather strip in which the, the, the sash fits against the frame. Uh, those are the, all the components that will, will determine how energy efficient that window is. Now, improvements in terms of the windows, let's talk a little bit about the glass and, and the innovations that have been there. Okay, back in the 1950s, they began using insulated glass, which were two panes of glass sealed together. Back in the mid-80s, they started putting a coating on one of the panes of glass called low E, which is, stands for low emissivity. Uh, and it's a metallic oxide coating put on the glass that serves as a heat reflector that if the heat is generated outside the house, it bounces it back out. If it's created inside the house, it bounces it back in. And then when in the past few years, they started putting an, a gas in the airspace because contrary to what some people think, that's not a vacuum space, it's just an airspace. By putting argon gas, argon is an inert gas, so it does not move, so you don't have the heat transfer back and forth. And then recently, there's been some innovations in glass. There's a glass that is called low E4. Uh, low E4 is a, has an extra coating of low E on it and also has titanium dioxide that is mixed in when the glass is molten, and it makes the glass, glass an easy clean glass. Uh, there's also glass called 366, and 366 glass puts another coating of low E on it, uh, boosts the energy efficiency of it that much more. Now I know one thing when we're looking at windows, and I see it over here, Terry, would be uh, the U value. Let's talk a little about the U right. value it's for windows. It's important to look at the U value. Um, the lower the U value, the more energy efficient the window is. Uh, the U value measures the whole unit, uh, so if a, if a window has, a, has good glass but does not have good weather strip, the air will blow by it, the U value will be high, which makes it a less energy efficient window. Uh, the old measurement of R values measured basically just components of the, of the window, such as the glass. It might have an R8, um, but, the, but the U value was not very good because maybe the insulating value of the overall unit was not very good. So again, look for a low U value and also look for that NFRC uh, sticker that's on a window. That's right. That means it's all uniformly tested by the National Fenestration Rating Council. Now, I hear a lot about uh, new windows versus replacement windows. Can you help us understand that? Basically, the components are the same. A new window means it's going in a new constructed house. It will have a nailing fin around it so that that gets nailed to the sheeting uh, that, that's on the house. On a replacement window, you're going to have your existing opening. You take out the old window. Uh, it leaves what is called a pocket. And in that pocket, then, a window would be ordered to be custom sized to fit right into that pocket, and it will set in as such. Uh, so it, it, it fills the pocket. Uh, it's a, uh, a window inside of a window frame, if you will. Now, what are we talking about in terms of cost here? The difference in terms of uh, the replacement, the pocket window versus usually, the, a new window? Usually the window will cost about the same. Uh, it, if this size window in a, in a new construction window or in a replacement window will probably be about the same price. The difference comes in in the installation. In terms of energy savings, when will I see that? The payback is, is primarily related to two items. One is how leaky your windows are to begin with. 
If the wind is just blowing by your windows, your payback is going to be quicker. Uh, the other factor is how efficient the window is that you buy. So if, if you, if just normal statistics will show that it's about an eight to 10 year payback to pay for the replacement window, providing it's a, it's a good window and the windows that you're replacing are somewhat leaky anyway. Now, Terry, there's a lot of contractors out there offering new windows. How do I know if I've got a reputable contractor? Well, there's a couple of factors that I would, I would recommend. The first is that they be a local contractor, uh, that this be their home and that they're, they are, are based here. The second is a reputation, and that would go with how long they've been in business, uh, references, people that they have done this work for before, whether they're members of professional associations such as the Home Builders Remodelers Council, who, whose members are dedicated to improving their, themselves professionally, um, those types of things, because that will all depend, that will all regulate whether or not if there's a problem down the road, you will be able to get service from them. Well, Terry, thanks for showing us around your showroom, and again, a lot of great tips as we look for those uh, new windows. Thanks for coming.